What's up, YouTube? It's Brock with the House of Strong, and it's time for your Strongman Weekly Recap. How's it going, everybody? I hope everybody had a blessed week and everybody's doing well. We're starting off this Strongman Weekly Recap with Jessica Fithen, a.k.a. Filthy Fithen, deadlifting 585 pounds and then attempting a 605-pound deadlift right afterwards. Now, the 605-pound deadlift she didn't get, but it was definitely moving, and if she would have stuck with it, she might have been able to grind it out, but uh, it was really close. It looked like it was moving pretty well. Uh, she said she's going to get it next time, and I have no doubt that she is definitely going to hit 605 pounds in the very near future. Following up Jessica Fifth, and we have Jess Thacker, who is doing a 205-pound push press in her training this week. Now, what's special about this is that she's just now able to get back into the gym due to a lockdown. She wasn't able to go to the gym, and it just goes to show it doesn't matter you know, if you aren't able to go to the gym due to COVID or due to a lockdown or whatnot, you can still make that decision once the gym reopens to get back in there and to get after that training. Uh, you can make that conscious effort to get in there and change your life, to go after your goals. I know last year I was out of the gym for a few months and it sucked, but I was able to get back in there. I'm now stronger than I was before. And you can make that decision no matter what to get back in there and just shows us that you can go in there and push hard and continue to train. The Stoltman brothers just announced that they have a new training facility. Now, they already had a gym, but that was a public gym that anybody could go to. Now they have a private warehouse that they're going to be training at specifically for Strongman. As you know, last year, Tom Stoltman finished second at World's Strongest Man, and he's looking to improve his placement this year in June at the World's Strongest Man in Sacramento, California. They bought this facility so that way they can do some more Strongman-specific training. As you know, they're from Scotland, and weather around there can be pretty brutal sometimes. So having an indoor facility for them to train in, to do bag toss, and to do stone loading and whatnot uh, is going to be uh, important for them to be able to continue uh, to train at the highest level. Um, they go on and talk about their nutrition, and they talk a little bit about their uh, training that's going to be coming up. But the facility looks really cool. Uh, they don't really have a whole lot set up yet, but I'm sure that in the near future we'll get a gym tour once they get everything set up the way they want it to be. Um, so it's really cool that they're able to have this facility. You see this a lot with a, a lot of strongmen that are kind of going after this like personal gym uh, setup, so then that way they can really focus in on their training. Obviously, if you if you have to train in a public gym and you're a, a pro strongman, a strong woman it can be somewhat distracting. You know, people are going to see you, they want to say hi, they want to meet you and whatnot, and that's not a bad thing, but whenever you're trying to train, you know, it's time to be serious and it's time to lock it in and to get that training done, and sometimes that can be hard to achieve at a public area. Uh, and also, a lot of times, they're not going to have strongman-specific implements. So now they uh, they have a space for them to train. Really look forward to see what the what kind of package they're going to bring this year to World's Strongest Man. I mean, it could be the first time that we ever see two brothers on the podium at World's Strongest Man. Up next, Maxime Bordreau, I believe I'm saying his last name right, is training stones in this week's video. And not only is he training stones, he's training a 460-pound stone for reps. Uh, the first video we see, he's doing three reps, and it looks really good. Uh, 460 pounds, that's that's usually about to the end of a stone run, typically. Uh, especially like World's Strongest Man, where it's going to be five, six stones. Uh, so... 460 to 500 is really you're really starting to top out at the end of that stone run and for him to be able to get three reps like that uh, it's definitely going to help his stone ability stones typically are usually the last event and can be a deciding factor on where you place at the competition focusing on stones can really help you uh, get better at that and could possibly gain you a couple places at your next competition Luke Richardson competed at World's Strongest Man last year, and one of the events was a farmer's carry. Now, in this event, they had to carry it down, and there was a certain area where they could actually set down the farmers and then turn around and carry it back. Uh, last year, Luke Richardson didn't have the performance that he wanted in that event, and in his training this week, he actually doubled what distance he had last year at World's Strongest Man. So he's definitely been improving his grip strength. as a very grip-heavy uh, event. And so uh, it's good to see him training that. It's good to see that he's made a lot of improvement. This uh, this year's World's Strongest Man is going to be extremely competitive, as it is every year. But this year it just seems to be super stacked, especially if we get some other competitors that have been injured back in the mix. It's just going to be uh, an outright amazing show. And that's all for this week's Strongman and Weekly Recap. Make sure you press that like button. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe for more future content. We hope everybody's doing well, having a blessed week. Go out there and be strong, and we'll check you guys later.